Hi guys. So you've probably heard about breakpoints in some way in Diablo related uh, context already, be it in like build guides and form posts, mechanics, posts, whatever. And uh, there are some things that you should know when it comes to breakpoints and I'll show you what it means. So what you have to know in general is that Diablo 3 runs at 60 FPS. So it means every second uh, 60 frames will uh, be um, displayed and uh, essentially like acted in the game. And uh, this means that um, an action can only happen on a full frame. So you can't have, uh, you know, like three and a half frames. It just doesn't exist. So, you know, something can be, uh, you know, an action can be performed in uh, 10 frames or in 11 frames, but not anywhere in between. And this is why these breakpoints exist in the first place. So this means that when you have uh, an attack animation, like this is a waste of fire right now, for example. Right now I have like, I don't know, two attacks per second. And if you divide 60 by two, it means around 30 frames uh, per attack. So this is what this means. And uh, with this, you can calculate your frames per attack, essentially. And the good thing is you don't have to do that manually. We have a nice tool named the Free Planner. I guess everyone already knows it. And this will display your breakpoints in uh, most cases. So those breakpoints make it so that uh, you have certain attack speed values that you need to hit to reach the, ne the next uh, like faster frame animation, essentially. So right now with the setup here, it will be 27 frames per attack, which means just slightly over two attacks per second. It actually tells you at the top here, 2.22 attacks per second. And uh, this is you know, how this would work. So now you see uh, in the free planner that um, the next breakpoint is at plus 3.8% attack speed and uh, the previous breakpoint is at 0% attack speed. This uh, IAS abbreviation means increased attack speed. So uh, it also shows you, you know, the, the, the difference in the DPS values and so on. So this is quite useful. This means that if I remove like just 1% or even like 0.1%, well, the smallest increment is actually 0.2 from Paragons. So if I remove 0.2 from Paragons, uh, I would lose the breakpoint and I would lose 3.6% DPS here. And um, this is, uh, you know, these little tricks that you can use to optimize your character. So once you have like a fully decked out character, for example, and uh, you add like a, um, another item with attack speed, for example, um, especially towards the higher attack speed values, uh, you will come to a point where uh, potentially adding a full 7% attack speed roll will not do anything. So when you add like a breakpoint, let's say like 90 frames per attack, which is not unreasonable for multi-shot, then uh, it could happen that you just barely reach that breakpoint and you need something like 8% attack speed to actually reach the 18 frames breakpoint. So even adding the full 7% roll from a ring would be completely useless. It would just give you nothing. So uh, this is something to be aware about. And this is why you should always check with your own character in the free planner to see the breakpoints and to see how you can optimize this. For example, here we can see this now. Um, I added the 7% attack speed ring to the previous setup and now we had 26 frames and now we need 1% attack speed more to reach the next breakpoint. So, you know, in most cases, this would mean you have to roll another item and uh, then you reach the next breakpoint. But yeah, it's, it's not really great to do that. But when you see this situation here where it's uh, 1%, 2% or even 3%, there's a nice little trick you can use and that is the Enchantress. So we have the Enchantress with uh, the Focus Mind Aura, which gives you 3% attack speed. And uh, this is really something that uh, can help you out here. So I used this, for example, this season on my Demon Hunter. I reached exactly the breakpoint by having this 3% attack speed and I essentially increased my DPS by, I think, 5.5% or so. So I essentially cheated my way up like half a tier almost uh, just from using the Enchantress instead of the Templar. I mean, I do lose, you know, the heal from the Templar and I lose the, the Hated region and so on, but you also get some other benefits, so it kind of evens out. But you have this 3% uh, attack speed that actually you know, helps you the most in that case. So this is really, really good. The way you can check your own character in the free planner is just with importing it. So here's an import button. You uh, include your battle tag, you press this button and it will uh, load your only characters and then you can just check it out. Then, you know, make sure you have the right stuff equipped. So sometimes the profile might take a little while to update. So, you know, you can do it in the evening when you log out and uh, next day you can uh, try the free planner or you just enter your, uh, your stuff manually. So that also works, I guess. You know, you don't have to do all the, the perfect item rolls 
just uh, add all the attack speed rolls, make sure you get the paragons and so on, whatever uh, skills you might have, like um, you know, law on Crusader, Voodoo on Ditch Doctor, and so on. And uh, yeah, make sure you reach the exact same attacks per second that you have in game as well. So, and then you can just check it out. Uh, the Free Planner has uh, accurate breakpoints for pretty much any skill. So, generally, I would trust those values. And uh, this is really nice to have. But there are also more than just attack builds in this game. So, instead of like multi shot, we have channeling and uh, pet builds. And they work a little bit differently. So, generally, channeling and pet builds have very few breakpoints. And uh, this is also something to be aware about. That means that the attack speed ranges are much bigger on those skills. And I can show you an example here. We have um, Strafe, for example, which is also quite important for next season. And uh, you see it has a, a much smaller table because uh, Strafe has kind of like a, like a multi-attack animation. So uh, like each, uh, each full rotation of one animation already shoots multiple projectiles. And this is why it has these uh, bigger breakpoints. So uh, you can see this here, for example, you have uh, these uh, breakpoints at um, eight frames per second right now, for eight, eight frames per attack. And now we need plus 9.6 attack speed. So it's kind of the same issue than, uh, as before, that you need like a, you know more than one full attack speed roll on your items to actually gain any benefit out of this. And uh, this uh, this just increases the higher you go. So when you reach something like the, the six frames per attack or the five frames per attack, you need something like 30% attack speed or so to actually go to the next breakpoint. And uh, this is you know something that uh, is, is quite important because you can potentially waste a lot of attack speed to never get anything out of it. So the same thing also happens with something like Hydra Wizard, for example. We have the breakpoints here and you can see that uh, you have a rather small uh, table with um, like multiple frames at once on each breakpoint. So right now we have like the 54 and then you know typical breakpoints are like for full builds something like the 30 or the 24 frames per attack and you can see the difference in damage there on the, uh, on the green numbers that uh, it, it really has big jumps and it also has big jumps in the attack speed required. So uh, this is also like another thing that um, you know makes these uh, very specific item rolls quite important. So uh, I remember, for example, on my T16 Hydra uh, wizard that, that I made, um, I needed you know exactly like a 50% Tascus. So you know preferably equipped that one, and uh, then I needed like you know like a tax speed weapon and so on, and that would just barely put me on breakpoint without wasting more item rolls. And uh, you know this is this is like another of these rather extreme cases. For these attack builds, you know, with this enchantress uh, thing that I talked about, it typically doesn't matter all that much, you know, you might lose like a few percent, up to like maybe 5%. But uh, in those cases with pet builds and channeling builds, this is uh, extremely important. So this is always something to look at when you play some builds like this. And that's also the reason why Pen Enhancer is so good on these channeling and pet builds. And on top of that, the channeling and the pet builds usually also snapshot the attack speed when you start using the skill or when you put down a pet or a sent or whatever. So they, uh, when you have like a really high pain enhancer value, so you run into the middle, put down your hydras, and then you can run out. And as long as you don't replace the hydras, they will keep attacking at a really fast rate. So that's typically how it goes. And another reason why pain enhancer is so strong in these kind of builds. And another example that is worth mentioning here is the Spirit Barrage Witch Doctor. I also covered this in my guides for Witch Doctor, but I felt like this uh, belongs here too. And uh, this is more like, you know, the multi-shot style where you can just keep casting and it's kind of like, you know, just keep attacking. But uh, you have these Phantasms and those Phantasms specifically, they take once every second and at zero frames, basically exactly when they appear. And this means that uh, after three Phantasms, you will replace your, your oldest uh, Phantasm. So when you do the fourth cast and the fifth cast and the sixth cast and so on, you will start replacing your old ones. And if you replace them a little bit too early, when you cast too fast, you will replace them right before a tick. There's some really detailed explanations and graphs that SVR made uh, back in the day when uh, Spirit Barrage came around the first time. But uh, you know, this is kind of like one of these special examples. And this makes it so that with the Phantasms, with the one tick a second, you can actually reduce your DPS by going from the 21 to the 20 frames per attack. Because if you just keep casting, you will do three Phantasm casts in 60 frames, and this will be exactly, you know, just the value where you replace them before a tick. So if you have, you know, this breakpoint or a faster one, uh, it's it's really bad. 
and then you know just you know somewhere between like the range of like 24 frames per attack to 21 frames per attack is fine because at 21 frames it requires you 63 frames for three casts which means that you know the lifetime of uh, 60 frames is secured and you get the tick at 60 frames for each of them so you know there might be more skills like this uh, that i'm currently not aware about but this is also something that you know is is quite important in this context yeah so i wanted to um, put a little bit of a spotlight on this one more thing for breakpoints in general is that sometimes you have these attack speed bonus items something like task and theo something like the yang's v curve or multishot specifically and uh, they act as a multiplier to uh, the the skill's attack speed so uh, the view panel usually calculates that in so you don't have to worry about that but it's just you know like another thing to be aware about of you know why exactly you're reaching exactly this breakpoint and so on and one final thing you need to know is that not all attack speed is created equally so what this means is uh, there is a little bit of a difference between certain item rolls and certain uh, skill interactions and certain legendary effects. And uh, most importantly, attack speed on a weapon acts as a multiplier. So uh, the, basically the way attacks per second is calculated is it takes your weapon base attack speed. So when you have this uh, mace here, for example, this has uh, 1.2 attacks per second. And then you can add an attack speed roll to this weapon and when you roll 7% attack speed, it has 1.28 now. And this is going to be the baseline that is uh, multiplied by all your other attack speed from your, uh, skill, from, from your skills generally, from your rings, from your gloves, from pain enhancer, and so on. So this is the attack speed increase here. The 7% is not part of this 30% value here. So this is something you need to know. So what this means is that attack speed on a weapon is always worth more than on any other item slot because of this multiplier effect. And this is generally why you want to have attack speed on a weapon. There are some things that work a little bit differently, especially in a necromancer. So for this class specifically, we have the uh, Frost Scythe from Grim Scythe and we have the Skeleton Archers from Skeletal Mage. And both of these skills uh, say that give you attack speed. But what they actually do is they give you base attack speed that works exactly like this 7% roll on the weapon. So this is something specific to Necromancer. Uh, I don't know exactly why they did that, but you can see this quite clearly as well when you attack something. And uh, if you look at the attack speed increase here and we hit something now, it doesn't increase, but your attacks per second go up. You see this? And uh, this, is, this means that we get base attack speed essentially. So for Necromancer, when you have these skills specifically, um, this is uh, like a special case and it actually decreases the value of the attack speed roll on the weapon a bit but usually that doesn't really change the fact that you want this attack speed roll anyway so uh, this is just something to be aware about and that is also calculated wrong in the free planner i think so when you have these skills um, it will actually show you 40 percent attack speed for example for skeleton majors and uh, this is uh, not right in, in those cases, you have to uh, look at your in-game values of you know what attacks per second you actually reach, and then you can look at the breakpoint tables. For example, for corpse lens, this is quite important when you play Rift Guardian Killer. So for these skills, you have to manually look at your attacks per second with everything uh, you know all the buffs up, or you calculate it manually, which you can do as well. You know just by taking this uh, weapon value here. So let's say again 1.2 attacks per second baseline and then you add the 7% from the roll, and then to the 7% you also add the 30. So you have to take it times 1.37, and then multiply it with all your other attack speed increases. And uh, obviously, you know, if you look at the free planner values, you have to take out the 30% from, from the skeleton mages again. This doesn't mean that the breakpoints are necessarily incorrect, so you can still look at the breakpoints and uh, you, know, you see which attacks per second you have to reach, but this attack speed value can be a little bit off. So I hope with this video I could clear some things up about breakpoints and why they matter and also help you to uh, help yourself with uh, the free planner especially. The import function is quite handy for this and it can potentially save you a lot of headache in the future. So I hope you liked this video here. I'll see you guys next time.